Here we go. We live. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of. We live? Yep. Look at there. That's a nice product placement right there. Yeah. No music, no nothing. Just, just uh, had the label turned Just the pouring of yeah. ice cold sweet tea. Yeah. Yep. I'm Daryl. I'm Tracy. And I'm Sean. This is Shop Talk. Yep. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I didn't have anything prepared. Me either. We talked about a bunch of stuff earlier. I kind of missed last week. Can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. By the time you got back, we had about an hour left. After that, we kept just going. Yeah, we, yeah. Like 7 30 when we did. started. Yeah. yeah. If you're listening from YouTube or Facebook, go over to www.gunchannels.com forward slash Andalusia Armory. Sign up and become part of the chat. And if you just absolutely refuse to do that, chat on YouTube. Yep, I try to keep up with it, but we'd rather see y'all on gun channels. Yeah, yeah, I really would. It's a lot it's easier, easier to keep track of everything. And, well, it's a, it's uh, funner. I mean, plus there's just tons of stuff to do on uh, on gun channels. There's see. tons of shows over there. There's uh, always something going on. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, the other cool thing is too, if we happen to hit a subject and we move on from it before you would like us to, a lot of times the guys at gun channels will continue the discussion. Yeah. You know, yeah, they the keep chat. talking about stuff in the chat or uh, even after we've moved on to something else. So yeah, it's, and even after go over to the lobby chat over there and yeah, ask, you know, questions. ask questions, even if you think of something later or if you just, Got another question about something. Well, and there's more shows that goes on after hours, too. Yeah. Really, really good shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, later on tonight, uh, we got uh, Mike Strike has got uh, his hit or miss yeah. later on. And uh, I believe that uh, I never know when uh, when G-Webs is going to uh, yeah, do AK, AK thing. I know he usually does it, but... Uh, it uh, he did his other one that he does in the middle of the day. Yeah, he did it later than uh, the normal look like by his posts that he made on it. So I don't know. Yeah, that's but, the other uh, thing. If if somebody just can't find something to do during the day, or I mean, or if you're at work and it's slow, or if you're driving somewhere, I mean, jump on the phone, turn gun channels on, and just you know what I mean. Turn on the channel and just listen. Yeah. Some really good stuff on there. A lot of good information. You know what we forgot to do? What's that? And it's not so much that I forgot. I tried to do it a couple times. But life got in the way with the wife not having a vehicle. My track chair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to have to. I'm going to have to. Yeah. We're going to have to figure that out and show you all that thing. It's just uh, it's a really, really, <laughs> really cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll take one of the cameras and mount it on the chair with me, too, so you can see what I go through. Yeah. <laughs> We did just set up an obstacle course out back. Some jumps. I was going to say between the <laughs> Some jumps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. No, 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 no. no I'm well, not. I think you need them wheelie bars on the back of it to sit back a little further. It, it always looks like things going to come straight actually, over the, backwards. Actually, the ones in the back are good. The ones in the front, I got to raise them up a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because sometimes. Yeah, they get hung on. Well, well yeah, I, I, I hung up on a little part of the ditch out front and uh yeah i remember that yeah that's uh that's like our seven <laughs> yeah. pretty much what we're going to do for that yeah. part yeah well that's pretty much what that little uh yeah that little thing is it's just it's one of those cylinders instead yeah. of the uh instead of the little box yeah but that that thing is really cool really cool so um let's see yeah Gun channels, head on over there. Uh, like us on Facebook too, and yeah. like the video that we're doing right now on YouTube. Subscribe. Yeah. Yeah, subscriptions are always good. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to spray you guys. <laughs> Not to mention knock the mic out. <laughs> but uh, we those uh. It may not. I mean, it, it. Well, as a matter of fact, if they're looking at the screen that we're looking at right now, that's too. That's too freaky. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they can just right there. Why the, are we backwards up here? Hang on. No, it's good. It does that, and then it flips it back when it renders. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh no! I turned my back. I, I don't guess I've. Said yeah. No. No. See, I, I had rolled away, sneezed, and rolled back up, and the, by the there time I did, I was just. Good. 
I was just rolling away from the table when I looked back at the feet. It's like, what well, is so freak <laughs> hey, time travel? I've oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sean, roll back to that screen real quick. I was going to explain a little bit better how they can um this one. No, the the uh, YouTube. Uh, if you guys will look right below the video there, you'll see the thumbs up thing. Click that thumbs up, and then. Let's see, right up. Where's the subscription button at, Sean? In uh, relative to the screen, it's right above this. We don't have one because you can't, okay, yeah, it's right above the thumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too bad. But yeah, just um, go ahead and um, subscribe and like. And if you yeah, watch the old videos, let you know when we're uh, when we got stuff going on. Yeah, it'll let you know when we hopefully. Hell, I may even upload the uh, the the crapped up one that me and jason made last for the week. video uh, yeah yeah but, uh, <laughs> it, it's got some good audio on it still i don't know what they did we just went out there and played with his little shotgun oh a bit. oh, oh that shot uh, of a couple of different uh, yeah. of the uh the tubes yeah oh and that's right yeah we swapped them out shot a couple of different kinds of ammo through it and yeah, throw it up there, man. They'll think it's 1968 and they're on an acid trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds me of. Some of the old, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of the old uh, Inagata DeVita video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, oh, that's that's perfect for us. Uh, yeah. The colors are all jacked up. Yeah. Hey, man, speaking of which, if they're on YouTube and for some reason can't go to gun channels, I know some work restrictions. Some people yeah. can go to YouTube, well, but they uh, can't phones go to. Sometimes don't handle it real well. Uh, yeah, my my old phone. This one I could do it just fine. Uh, but my old phone, I I could go to gun channels and grab the chat link for uh, for a hangout mm -hmm. and go there. But then I had to close out because it would freeze up and yeah. handle all of it. Well, I think I think that's been worked on a little bit, hasn't it? I'm not sure. Because, it seems like it has because uh, my phone was kind of this one, but my old phone wouldn't. But well, my old phone wasn't a Galaxy. Yeah, and you know this it does this does a lot more shit than my old phone. Yeah, I have me. I have no clue. I'm an old dog, and I don't want to learn new tricks. <laughs> well, if they uh, if they are on the YouTube channel for some reason, definitely try to go to gun channels and and sign up. It's free. Yeah, but if you can't for some reason, there's a chat box on the right hand side. Uh, on YouTube, you should, if you're on there, you should be able to look and see it. Um, Tracy's yeah. leaving us for a minute there. Yeah, uh, the throw, a, the throw a question up there, um, and we'll try to check it. Maybe if we remember. Yeah, it, I I try to keep it up here uh, and pop back up to it. Yeah, but uh, I, I try to keep our our feed up uh, on this computer. And then on mine, I, I monitor gun channels on the laptop. But I, I keep our feet up mostly over here so that I can see what the hell's going on <laughs> here with make sure our camera ain't moved out of place oh, yeah. and all that stuff. So. Well, the, actually, the, you know what, man? I mean, I hate to bring this into effect, but the gun channels channel looks cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it, The way the chat and all is set up on it, it's yeah. a lot more user-friendly than the YouTube one. Yeah, it is because you – more the, intuitive. The chat thing yeah. on the on the YouTube is just it's, it's, it's dysfunctional <laughs> on, on YouTube. It's, it's over on the side. Mm -hmm. It's and on, on the gun channels page. It's, you got the your video feed right there. You got your chat box down below. Everything streamlined. Well, yeah. people on gun channels talk more too. Yeah. You know, no matter how many people are watching on YouTube, which it never tells us exactly what's going on there because it changes as soon as yeah. it renders. Well, sometimes it's it's it goes through these phases, I guess, when they update their software or something. Sometimes the YouTube side is not live. Sometimes it has a delay. Yeah. So sometimes the stuff that's coming through on there is not happening right now. Sometimes yeah. you don't see it until... Oh, yeah, I know it's what so you mean, till it's, till it's almost over, like John yeah. Coward. Yeah. You know, he had left us some comments. So we oh, didn't yeah, see yeah, we didn't even see it until after it was over with. <coughs> well, the uh, topics for today are... Mm. Well, no, I can brag on my daughter. I couldn't reach the stock. It's hanging in the corner. Where's that? Get it in the work store. Room, is it dry or is she in the left hand corner? Again. It's, it's dry enough <laughs> as long as you handle it carefully, Daryl. And you can take it up there and put it up to the camera. 
Yeah. Tell her to quit putting more coats on that thing. <laughs> well, no, she's she's got it to where she likes it. Oh, yeah, yes. I know not. every time I see her, she's she's put just put a new coat on. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. She put a coat on it today, but it was dry enough here in the shop and stuff. Yeah. The airflow was good. Yeah. So it and the and the finish we use, it doesn't take too long to dry as long as you put thin coats. Yeah. Good too. Yep, here it goes. Yeah. I'll hit myself in the face with it. There you go. Yeah. Whoa, and lower. Right there's the butt stock. Now run it down and show that forearm stuff real good. Right, right, right about in there. there. Turn it a little. Yeah. It looks good. Okay. Yeah. That's my daughter's first attempt at carving on a stock. She's been refinishing stocks for me for. Now look here. I didn't do these white slides oh, on the side of the stock. <laughs> <Wasn't me. laughs> Nah, staff sergeant handled it. We'll blame it on him. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, she. I started refinishing stocks for us over a year ago, and she decided she wanted to try her hand at some carving on her own stock, and that's her first attempt. I think it turned out pretty darn nice. I haven't even noticed. Is that a left-handed stock? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, somebody just asked. Yeah, right. she she's right-handed but left eye dominant, and I caught it like when she was six. Yeah. So I started her shooting left-handed. Yeah. She's killer left-handed shooting. <laughs> See, I'm exactly the opposite of that. Yeah. I'm left-handed but right eye dominant. So. Yeah, and, and that's something a lot of people don't check for in their kids when they yeah. start them shooting. Yeah, and it, it can make a real big difference because when we caught her, we caught her at the Rod and Gun Club with the youth program we had. Yeah, trying to put her chin over the stock to see the sights. Yeah, and uh, I changed her that week at home and had her practice. The difference in her scores from overnight, yeah, was just unreal, and it, and it the confidence boost it gave her because she was she was actually a little upset that she wasn't shooting like the other kids yeah who were just starting also yeah so yeah but oh it if you were left-handed they tried to squish that out of you. yeah or same when i grew know, up and they at least they you could still write left-handed if you had to but everything else they were going to try and make mm -hmm. you do it right-handed yeah and you know well, it's a right-handed world. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and yeah, only so pretty much I ended up being kind of half and half on everything. It wasn't until years later that, oh, that I realized I was right eye dominant. Cause, you know, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. When, I, when I started shooting, I didn't know what that yeah, was. Most, yeah. Unless you unless you were with an Olympic coach or something, you didn't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> because, you know, it wasn't until I was a teenager probably and actually – you know, doing some shooting with 4-H and FFA yeah. and stuff. And, and then I realized that, that, yeah, what it was. And that explained a lot of the stuff that I did right-handed. It explained why I did that. Yeah. And now it's like I shoot everything right-handed. I, I eat and write left-handed. That's about it. Most everything else I do right-handed. There's some stuff I can do both. Yeah, I, when I got in the restaurant business, you kind of had to use both hands, so I kind of learned to use yeah. left hand for some things, yeah. You know what, man? What's nice now is some companies like Glock and stuff, they, it's real easy to convert to left-handed. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm awkward eating, and nothing feels right. Fork left hand, knife right hand, That's knife left hand. He, right -handed. he does better with his face in a trough. <laughs> I, I I cannot like use a fork right handed at all. I will I will be sitting here trying to eat and end up stabbing Tracy. I'm just well, both of them now on. If we go out, you're sitting next to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> well, this I'm I'm left eye dominant, mostly right handed, but I uh, I shoot right handed. I shoot better right handed. See that that's where I say that the left the dominant thing don't always pertain it i'm not going to say it always well, it, pertains well, it depends on how you do it too because i've seen <clears> people <throat> who are left eye dominant and shoot right-handed and you use, use their, left, their eye. left eye no i did that with a pistol you can see yeah it, well you can see it when they use a scope 
you can see that they're using, even if they're using both eyes open, you can still, you see them move over. Yeah, I, so say, I, I don't do I that. Can't I do use, that. I use my. I, I will. I will, like jab myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't do that. I shoot in my right eye. And I've tried. Unless I'm shooting a handgun, well, yeah. then, then I just move it over. Yeah. yeah, that's what I have to do. Is that or you know do that that wink? Yeah, yeah. Or you? Yeah, do like but the first. I, I do that focus. anyway yeah. because my my eyes like I don't know something about when they they don't sync up. Quick. They yeah they don't sync up quick, and they probably would if the more glasses like straight. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah. I mean, well, the, the thing is though. My glasses don't work anymore. My eyes have gotten worse since then. So. Shooting a left, left handed scope or right handed scope, I can shoot lots better right handed. I'm definitely left eye dominant though. Yeah, I mean if definitely. I, if I think about it, I can shoot. Le I, I was to a point where left handed was kind of starting to become almost natural, but then I quit for a while practicing that. And now if I think about it, I can still shoot left-handed. And it comes in handy being the gunsmith sighting in someone's left-handed rifle. Well, see, the thing with what I'm trying to say is, is I don't see any difference. Mm. I mean, well, literally Some, some people don't. It's, yeah. Now, it sucks trying to – because this shit over oh, here well, don't yeah. work. Well, see, you got a whole other problem going on there. I mean, we got we're heart bionic man here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's 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 funky as hell like that. Which I mean, I guess uh, when it comes down to it, though, with me saying I don't, I don't think it pertains to a lot, I really can't say that because if this wouldn't have happened, I might be able to see a difference. Yeah, yeah, true. You might. Yeah, I don't know. I guess yeah. I, people's bodies adapt to what they got to work yeah. with. I guess, and you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can attest to that. So I, I, I don't know. I, I do think a kid should be know, comfortable shooting, though. You should figure. You know, they should know if they're yeah, left or right out of dominant. You know, most of us don't see that affecting you like you see it affecting yeah. you because, you know, you talk about how you ain't got, you know, it hurts and you ain't got no strength in it and everything. But then you turn around yeah, and you yeah, do lift, shit that yeah. you lift, shouldn't be lift, able to do. Lift, I mean, lift a 250 pound PA speaker exactly, over with, his head. with that arm. <laughs> and, no, see, no, see, that's the thing, though. I don't do that. I, I do just like when I'm shooting my big bore pistols. Yeah, it looks like I'm grabbing with both hands, yeah. but all I'm doing is putting just yeah, just enough right, strength, yeah. you know, on this one yeah. over here. Well, that's why I said it doesn't look that yeah. way to the rest of us, if, like if, it does to you, because it looks like the rest of us. It looks normal unless you tell us, or you know, you see the scar there. Nobody knows it. Yeah, I mean, it's, Not most of the time I can tell it. You know, yeah, you do. well, well like, yeah, you've been living with it for well, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, longer than enough. But this damn uh, when I pick up something big like those PA speakers, it's got the um, now the the long ones. What I do there is, if you'll notice, when I pick them up, I start with my right arm and then I swing my left arm yeah, up and yeah. get it. So I'm yeah, actually yeah. taking the brunt of it with my yeah. right arm and just stabilizing over here. Now the big ones, what I have to do is grab them and get them as close to me as I can. Yeah, and use your body. Use yeah, support yeah. on your body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you see when he throws the horn up top. Oh yeah, that's kind of scary. He, he gets it well, moving so of, much, and then it's like, okay, this hand is just there to kind of balance it, not really push. And if it comes back, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm done. well, it's kind of what I'm saying. You have you've adapted to it so much that to the onlooker, they have no idea. Yeah, they don't know because it just looks like that. Well, I gotta say, this is the first time I've ever heard any of this. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that though, because well, you know, that was a long time when I didn't realize that it all. Uh, that there was as much effect as it had because you know you had surgery had it you know fixed yeah yeah so i didn't realize for a long time that it like had the lasting effects on you that it did because yeah. you've adapted to yeah. it and thumbs up i know when i, when I first <laughs> met daryl i wouldn't have known he had so many problems with that arm if he didn't tell me and i notice it now because yeah. i know it's a problem and I see things, but other than that, I wouldn't have noticed just quickly. Yeah. But getting back to the shooting, whether you're left handed, left eyed, right handed, left eyed, right handed, right eyed, you should learn to shoot with both hands a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Because you never know. You yeah. break something, you get in an accident and lose something. Yeah. 
might as well start getting used to it now. Yeah. You could even find yourself in this. Now, see, I don't agree with the military. They make everybody <laughs> shoot right-handed. Yeah. You know, it, personally, I think in the military, okay, everybody shoot right-handed, and you got to score this much. But then they ought to start switching them, say, okay, you're going to shoot left your other hand, and you're going to have to score at least half of that or a third of that score. Because quite honestly, you in the Army or Marine Corps, jump out the back of a plane or hit a beachhead, you could very quickly be having to use something yeah. that or you're not used to. Or just have some of these bad boys shot off. It was shot off, stepped on, yeah. slammed in the door. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, think about it. If you're right-handed and you only shoot right-handed and you carry a gun for defense and you're just not paying attention to getting the growth – groceries out you got trying to jostle two bags and shut the trunk lid and you get your hand caught in there and you need your gun as soon as you step into your house and your hands like that eh. well okay. you know even a simpler situation than that that could happen uh, you're dragging something human or something some big something you know you're gonna be dragging with your right arm yeah if you have to be shooting it needs to be you with probably gonna left. be shooting yeah. with your left I mean, arm there's there's lots of situations where you, you might be holding out of something with your right arm but yeah. if you let go of it you're gonna be just as much trouble as yeah. if you don't shoot something else coming we're getting into yeah. captain america shit here now yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when we don't plan on what we're going to talk. Well, no, you got to know. No, you're right, though. You have to like that. It seems ridiculous. Some of the extreme situations that people plan for. But the thing is, if you plan for the extreme, when the minute comes, you're good. You're, you're, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the way that, well, being in the Navy on a ship, we don't get to go out and practice in the backyard like the Marines or the Army does in war games. When you're on a ship, it's live 24-7. Not just because you could be in a hot war anytime. There are still World War II mines floating around those oceans. Yeah. Sandbars move. Um, not all commercial shipping is friendly. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, my ship it had the ship cut off a couple of times when I was in on purpose. Of course, the other ship ended up with some 50 cal holes in its fantail. Uh, <laughs> it did. Our captain oh. <laughs> our captain lit into it with the 50 not even one of our gunners he tossed the gunner aside but um you get a fire on a ship my i was on a destroyer 60 foot beam 603 foot long that's all the further you could run and not eventually the fire is going to get you yeah. in the middle of the atlantic pacific <laughs> io i don't care it's real all the time. We did not get to practice. And, and you know what? We practiced for the absolute worst. And when little things happened, they were over before you realized it actually happened. And it wasn't yeah. Yeah. practice. Well, well, that's the big thing with firearm training right there is so you can do it without thinking. Yeah, muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Whether it be knowing, knowing where I had to go in the dark to secure everything because everything was out. Or knowing how to operate your firearm without looking. I mean, there are military police that do train, you know, in a black room. They break their firearm down, put it back together. Yeah. You know, I mean, are you going to have to do that in the real world? Very unlikely. But in the military, yeah, I can see a situation where you're in, you're you're in your position and something goes wrong with your firearm, and the only way to correct it is to. Do a basic field strip and pop it back together. Yeah. Damn, that was a lot. Yeah. That was a really good spill. We need to cut that one up and make a video out of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, we got a train wreck on gun channels over here. Did he? Is yeah. Chet, is Chet on there? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ch Chet, Jason's got a present <laughs> for you here. Yeah, you should come by tomorrow and pick that up. Yeah. What else going on over there? Uh, not a whole lot. It was just talking about the uh, left-handed, right-handed thing a little bit. That, and, that, uh, that can be a big, long discussion. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, yeah. You can go all yeah. over with that, yeah. Chet said something about <laughs> smashed fingers. Oh, yeah, he smashed his finger oh, in yeah. the car door yep. the other day. That's right. 
poor baby blue <clears throat> marine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love Chet. Indeed. So um Mother's Day was last weekend. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. You forgot. I called my mama. I called my mother, but she didn't get a card. Yeah. We went out to uh Gant. Uh Rita and Brian was out there, and Brian's mom and my mom was out there and all the kids. I seen some of the photos, yeah. My God, it was so hot, dude. It was fun. It was a real fun time, but man, it was hot, dude. I'm talking about I'm talking about like hot. So throw the sheet out on the grass and lay as flat as you can type of hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> the grass was nice and cool under those yeah. shows. Yeah. That was the water. I didn't get in the water. Man, I I don't I don't really usually swim in you know, Gant and <laughs> yeah. I mean it, no, I've Come seen on it. now, I've that's seen, our premier lake. I've seen that water. <laughs> now, over there at the uh, Dunn's Bridge, where we also swim out. Yeah. Now, used to, I used to go swimming there because it was kind of beachy. You know, they had that, that yeah, sand yeah, and all down yeah, there, but I think they've gotten rid of that now. That's I what it looks like. I haven't been down there in been over 20 years. Well, they're building a house there. right there. You know where the uh, old swimming place was at? Yeah. Just right off to the left of that, they're really? building a house. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there on the water or something. Seen, I'm a Yankee. So, yeah, if, if the water don't – that murky water y'all are swimming oh, because yeah. it's always murky. Yeah, I'm a Yankee. We look at water like that and we're like, nah. Oh, that's good so. for you. Well, I'm not saying it's not. You know? <laughs> I did some swimming down in South Florida too, and there was so much iron in that little pond that. <laughs> As I say, it's not like you don't know what's under that water because you know what's under that water. Yeah, an alligator. A gar. Well, look, at, look at big ass catfish. <laughs> look at the gar and the catfish don't bother me. It's 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 the gator. The moccasin and that damn alligator snapping snapper. turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, just yeah. some stinking neck bastards about yeah. the shit out well, of yeah. there. Well, in New York, you had to worry about losing a toe. Down here, you got to worry about losing a leg yeah. to a turtle. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we got some turtles down here. Damn man. right. Talk about man. Size yeah. Things. man. Yeah. 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 Those things are crazy. I don't like messing with those. Yeah, one of those in the water, and I see it, I'm probably not going to go yeah, in there. I mean, I don't mind stepping on a crawdad and having to pinch my toe or something. Yeah. You know, I, they, it gets, if it gets the web or the little toe, yeah, I'm going to scream <laughs> like a little girl. I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to think I got a gator on my foot. Mm. But uh, it was it was pretty fun down there. Um, me and Julie didn't end up getting on the boat. But uh, the kids did, and they, man, they love that. Yeah, see, if I get on a boat, I better be dropping a fishing line someplace. Oh, they fish, and they get on there and tow that inner tube behind it, and the kids yeah. have a really good time. They do. Good Lord have mercy. They they have too good a time. They don't, yeah. want, they don't want to go nowhere. You know what I mean? They, yeah. want, they want to continue doing it. But that's, that's cool, though. I, but, yeah, I wouldn't – man, those kids will jump in anything. Well, they do not. Do, I did do, the same thing. I was going to yeah, say, did you remember thing. when we were kids? Come on, man. I used to jump. It, the, the, the fun thing to do in New York when not, when the ice was starting to go out and the water was high, ride an ice flow. Yeah, I don't think. I, don't yeah, know. I probably would have. We would have been doing that too. Yeah, yeah. And jump from one to the <laughs> other one. Yeah. yeah. I'd like not, to say I wouldn't do that, but that's bullshit. Well, let me tell yeah. you, man. We, we've been all over that. Yeah. <laughs> thinking, thinking back, it was. First of all, if you got if you fell off, first of all, the water's thirty two degrees. Yeah, you've got you got like fifteen seconds before your hands go numb. Mm. You know, you got like thirty minutes max, and you're done. Yeah. Um, but now, getting stuck between two ice flows. Yeah, you squish. Yeah, you might as well have. You might as well get stuck between two semi trucks. It's done. You're. It's over. If yeah. if, if you only break something, you're lucky. <laughs> well, see, now that's our equivalent of going down that hill right there in front of the the damn police department off on skateboards. Yeah, I know the hill. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, overhand loose bro <coughs> hill. Oh yeah, oh, dude. Jeff, on a skateboard. No, dude, no. Let me tell you the oh, worst one. I was gonna is, say there's no way in hell. That <laughs> subdivision back behind the Ford dealership. Yeah, man, they some hills back there like you wouldn't believe, yeah. man. Oh yeah, there's a uh, the hills that scary. Really I mean, even on a car like you're going and you can't see, see the road. Yeah, yeah. The road <laughs> there's a place over in Op where the uh, 
there's a hill that goes like I I that was I think down. I've been on that and road, it's, <laughs> and it's it goes like it's the it's the, down the side of the around. Yeah, they, that's gone. They fixed that hill. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. The, oh my God! Well, that, 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 that hill used down. to scare the crap out of Chuck. Oh yeah, dude. Me and Greg used <laughs> we, to jump. It. We <laughs> we coughing down it on skateboards. Oh yeah, and he went flying off the edge of it. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Yeah, that was right. That wasn't too far from my house. Not yeah, too far at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was over in that area. Yeah. And y'all don't mark your roads down here. Mm -mm. Hell no. Uh, no, they know yellow lines. Yellow line. Talked about that. I thought about uh, you might go airborne if you in the next hundred feet. Yeah, dude, you should have been with us coming back from Mobile. Like, oh my! It said train tracks. <clears throat> it did not say vert ramp. <laughs> Man, we were right. the only thing kept us on the ground was the fact that the trailer weighed as much as the van, dude. Oh, it, yeah. it went up like this and tabletop, really. Oh, yeah. And by the time the headlights hit it, and yeah. I realized what it was, we was already on it, and it was black tar, too. Yeah. It was just as black as ice and spades, man. <laughs> no yellow line, yeah. none of that. I mean, by the time the headlights hit it, you could see that there was a shadow on the other side, mm. it's like, oh. <clears throat> I've tried to break in midair. Like, oh, yeah. See, we we figured out here that the bumps and stuff, yeah. they just paved over cows. A couple and, humpback whales. Yeah. There's a bridge, we swear, it's set on a humpback whale. Got to yeah. be. Absolutely. See, we got we got humps over here, and then up in New York, they got... We got potholes. Yeah, pothole, come on. <laughs> craters? Yeah. Moon craters? Yeah. yeah. I thought I rode for bad here. <laughs> God bless all them. With, yeah. My dirt road in New York is better than the paved road in New York. Absolutely. Yep. That's probably the best road we went on. It was. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's, we have erosion down here. You know what I mean? And then up there, y'all got the ice. And the, yeah. Well, yeah. The, yeah. If they, if they didn't surface the road right. Yeah, you get a little crack in it. The water gets under, pops it, yeah, pops, pops it out. It, yeah. Oh my good, or or even worse, we don't get much snow, and the frost penetrates deeper than normal. Average is about thirty six inches, but we'll get times where to go down four, five, six foot. And I've been in the woods, and I've seen muddy ice crystals come out of the ground this big around, quite literally a foot, foot and a half out of the ground, straight up. From the frost just pushing <laughs> <through up. clears throat> but you know it was like 60 below that winter for and stayed on average 20 below for two weeks but uh y'all get cold down there but we get 20 below or 20 above hotter than hell here it's gonna be a hot summer dude well see now that's what you say but let me get you up in my house in new york in august oh here it, it might not feel it but we hit 95, 100 degrees. Wait till it's 100 degrees here to 99% humidity. Well, I know. I remember, yeah. I remember, oh, I, God. I remember I spent my summers in South Florida. Yeah. So. It's worse here than it is in South Florida, though. No, I'm telling you, I've been both places. I, I promise you, it's worse here than it is in South Florida. I don't know if we just got the perfect storm of, like, shit and shit yeah, compact. I, I, I guess I've been. Unless there's a tropical storm. Storm sitting out there just out of where the the storm itself hadn't started affecting yet, but you but know. it's raised the humidity yeah. oh, to yeah. like two hundred percent. I guess that's yeah. one thing about being being in the Navy. You know, I see enough foreign ports, and and I've been around this country enough that you know can only say there's two or three places I wouldn't want to spend a whole long time at. I can say there's more than a couple places. I've been all <laughs> over this son of a bitch. And there's more than a few for different yeah, well, reasons. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't try to walk the Arizona desert. <laughs> I'll take that any day over a couple places, <clears throat> Cape Fear. I'll take that over a couple several <laughs> different places. Yeah. But uh, hey, you know what? We got a cool little old used pistol yeah, coming in today. Oh yeah. I got some money down on it if someone don't come out and buy it before I can pay it off. <laughs> This is a cool little, uh, which I'm sure, I'm sure everybody's seen one. Let me. <laughs> Poor cameraman.
Look at her. She's empty. Yeah. She's empty, Sean. Look yeah. at her. <laughs> uh, it's a nice little SIG, a P238, and this is the Sport um, Night Sights, which you, let me flag everything. I don't think they still. Oh, yeah, I, like, yeah, there you go. Can yep. You oh, yep. Oh, no, no, no. You got to move them to. No, yeah, there you go. You got me dead nuts. <laughs> Can I see them there? Yeah, um, yeah kind of. Yes, yeah. uh, you can't really tell that they're in nice sig light, but yeah. well, it's uh, the the from, tritium rears, and then the cool thing is, is it's the fiber got, optic with the tritium. It's got the tritium front. ring around yeah. the fiber optic. Yeah. A cool little two tone deal. It's black, it's brushed stainless and, yeah. color. Yeah. Real nice looking. Comes with uh, actually a paddle holster, a concealment holster, uh, the two pinky. mags. Yeah, two mags. One, one extended. Yeah. And we're throwing in a 50, 50 uh, round box of ammunition with it. Yeah. Pretty cool for a little over 400 bucks. When you're done playing, I'm going to play with it. No, no, no. You can leave the mag out. Well, you don't want to flag the camera? Nah, because I'm going to probably flag you too. Okay. <laughs> but uh, they're cool little pistols, little 380s. Um, I shot probably, I shot about three mags out of one similar to that. Yeah. And uh, they shoot, they shoot fine. Yeah, it's three eighty out of a small platform, so I mean it's a little bit poppy. Yeah, but it ain't it ain't too much, you know, for somebody to handle. Definitely poppy. Yeah, you shoot a subcompact forty five. <laughs> you talk about poppy. Yeah. See, I think nine Actually, millimeters. his his forty five. It's not. not it's not too bad. much. It's forty five tries to get out of my hand. And uh, and really, the only difference between this forty five and mine is the thickness. Is the thickness of it. Because it's one of, one of ours has got a little bit longer barrel than the other one. I don't remember which. Yours one. is longer. Mine's longer. Yeah. And and then the mine's double stack. And yours mm -hmm. double stack. It's, yeah, it's easy to break down. Like y'all just seen Tracy just it was, tore it down, no problem. Yeah, I was figuring with this little bit of a nub that they left out, I was going to have to get a. Well, it's not like it. No, I mean, it's, nice. it's it's basically a nineteen eleven design. Yeah. Yeah, just smaller. Yeah. Scaled down, but uh, definitely nice little, little pistols. Definitely, uh, Sig makes a Sig makes a quality firearm. Oh yeah, I think Sean's got you got a full size uh, two two six. Yeah, two two six. Yeah. <clears throat> Been a little bit of a punk there. No, I forgot. <laughs> but uh, I hit you know I do too many dang guns, so I f forget some of the. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I got you. Push that down. And oh god, they don't give you much room to. Can't even get my finger in there. Yeah, they really don't. But again, you got to think about it. it's a subcompact little old yeah. bitty thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not much bigger than a, a Keltec little uh, thirty-two. Um, overall, it's probably about the same dimension. Actually, overall. it's bigger. It is bigger. Yeah, yeah. I figured overall it's probably about the same. It'd take up the same amount of real estate on your well, side. Well, I can. I can. Well, you, uh, a little bit. Yeah, because that's what I carry inside the waistband. It would, uh, it would take my Keltec, my, my Keltec don't take up much more room than that. Yeah. Yeah. I can carry it in my. Can I flag the cameraman with it? Sure can. There you go. Ball. <laughs> Here's the 32 though, right? Yeah, you want to hold them up there? Yeah, it's a lot skinnier. Here, let me. Well, yeah, it is. Let me check it for clear. And yeah, I know y'all get tired of me sticking my finger in there, but yeah, I can we, clearly see that it's empty. We, we've learned yeah. if you can't pinky screw it, yeah, don't don't trust it. There's the C. There's the Keltec with a little uh, Laser Max laser on it, and then. There they are side by side and with a they're about the same. They're they're pretty darn they're, close. They're close, so close that yeah. they would take up the same they're, real estate. You're, on you're looking maybe a half quarter, inch, half inch, quarter inch here or there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the uh the SIG's got about a half inch on it. Weight wise, there's a huge difference, but maybe not as much as I think. No, not no. really. I, mean, I haven't had them side by side. So. The uh the weight's not too much. I think it's the balance. 
It's not too much. I mean, what, maybe no, about six that, or seven ounces yeah, at most? Yeah, it's not that much. No. Yeah. Yeah, I just think. Let's see. Yeah, balances. Actually, the six balance better. Yeah, I, th I thought so too. In the hand. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to have to take this out and shoot this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was thinking yeah, I'm that sorry. Yeah, just point the muzzle right at you. <laughs> Yeah, like a true YouTuber, right? Hold on just a second. Let me do that. A... Yeah, Is that enough? Time. Is it, yeah. But yeah, nice little guns. Jeez, I might have to have Jason repaint mine. You know, where, where a little holster, you know, holster. You know, bag, wear, whatever you want to call it. Condition one, baby. Always. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If y'all are Probably listening. Last a little longer if he actually cured it. What? I told him that's you that's Kel oh. oven. Oh, oh yeah. No, this is a Keltec paint job. Oh, is that yeah, Keltec? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. But I but but I got a flashlight, a pocket knife, a mini screwdriver. Oh yeah, it and, just rambles and, around and, and uh extendable magnet all in yeah. the same pouch. Yeah. And no, I don't have a spare mag there. The spare mags are in a different spot. <laughs> So yeah, it all bounces around. Yeah, but that's it's a carry gun. It's it's meant to be used and worn. It's yeah. not. Oh yeah, it's not absolutely. Yeah. Definitely not a safe queen. <laughs> well, if y'all are watching us on YouTube, head over to Gun Channels www.gunchannels.com forward slash and loser armory and join in on the chat. I wish Sean can tell you what to do if you don't want to put and loser armory in. Yeah, just go to gunchannels.com. Up in the upper left-hand corner, there's a little uh, slideshow type deal. Shows all the, the feature channels on gun mm. channels. Just scroll through till you find and lose your armory and click on that. It'll take you right to us. You know, the other cool thing is, too, um, when they get done listening to our show, even if something's not starting immediately, they can go through those slides and they can just pick something in last week's or the last episode yeah, the of that last particular channel. Of that will be, will uh, still be there. Yeah. yeah. So they can watch the old, mm -hmm. the last one that was made. And you know what? To the gun channels, folks, uh, if, if there was an episode that you're wanting to reference that we did two or three episodes back, get over to our YouTube channel. We have them all archived. Yeah. They're all up and ready to view. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> reference yeah. something we talked about mm -hmm. in a previous uh, episode. Yeah. And, uh, what is this, 12 now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 12 weeks. Indeed, indeed, fun times, fun times. Is uh, if we let's check our YouTube comments to see if anybody said anything on there. Just look over there. We're gonna we're gonna check. That's Daryl. That was nice. Try to come over here and posted something when uh, right after we started. Oh yeah. What's the boys over at Gun Channels talking about? Well, they have been quiet. Oh, yeah? Yep. Are you serious? Must be dinner time. Yeah, they've been. They're generally quiet not quiet. Since, uh, when we start talking about. Uh, when Daryl flagged the camera. Yeah. Really? No, it was not before that. <laughs> we were talking, about, uh, talking about the weather. The weather. Yeah, uh, we were talking about weather. No, we bored them out with the weather. Huh? Thing they were talking. That's about. kind of cliche. They were talking about weather, not us. Oh uh, no, we were. We talked about the weather. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we had like a ten yeah. minute discussion. Where yeah. was your dude? Yeah, yeah. Where were you? Humidity. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. I guess that was a weather talk. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'll tell you what, Sean, hand me that fire going stuff up there. Ooh. Yeah, good product, please. Yeah. That's I, I have a can of that on my bench. Not that I set things on fire often. I got a can of this stuff at home. <laughs> I keep meaning to put a can next to the stove in the kitchen, but I think yeah. I think my wife might spray down with it. That too. You know what? She might take it as a commentary on her cooking. Oh yeah. She's taken all the batteries out of the smoke detectors in the house. I always knew when dinner was ready. Oh come on! I used to have to do that. This thing. Oh, Every okay. time that uh, that we made hamburgers. Let's see. 
because that little amount of smoke that oh, comes from just yours was the smoke? Burgers, yeah. right? No. Uh, mine when she opens the oven. Yeah. I, the got, I got the ones that detect the quick rise in well, temperature this and the enough. smoke. This this wasn't close enough to that. The, <laughs> these were like there was one in the laundry room which was about a good place to keep one, yeah. I don't know, like thirty feet. Well that's just so. the one in ours is like thirty feet. And then the there oven. was one that was uh, down the hallway. There was one at one end of the hallway and then the other one was hardwired. It was one of those that's wired in. Yeah, see, I don't believe in those. Yeah. But it, 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 it was like part of the wiring. Yeah, hardwired. Wire, hard wire's they great as long as it's got a backup in the, battery in it. But Well, the, the house plan that we got yeah. or whatever had one that was wired well, that's in. Required and, I was now, like, yeah. and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll put the other ones in everywhere yeah. else. And see that thing's not any good if power's off mm -hmm. more than like ten minutes because they don't got a better, a decent battery. Yeah, backup. well they don't have any. Except oh, for yours that. doesn't have any. It didn't have any. If power was off, yeah, you're more screwed. Than, I don't know, maybe ten minutes, half an hour. It had a capacitor, like that, and that was it. Would it. Go, <laughs> make this little like dying sound. noise. <laughs> yeah, and then it was gone. It was done. It wouldn't do anything else. Yeah. Well, go ahead, Daryl. This is a fire gone. Now. I've got, I do got one at home. I, I got one on my bench. Yeah. The the big thing with this is it's not a fire extinguisher. It's a fire suppressant. That's all a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this doesn't, this doesn't, remember we tried one of these when we first got them. It don't just blow forever. And I yeah. mean, literally, it's just well, a little bit. Yeah. It's, you know, quick grease fire and get, the, get the lid on the pan right yeah. after you hit it with that. Yeah. Well, you know, I think probably the, if you're going camping, it would be bad to have one. Hey, if you're sleeping in a tent and you had a little cooking fire about 10 feet from the tent that night, yeah, I'd want one. Tent, yeah. Tents, they might say flame retardant. But Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Flame metal <laughs> in your ass. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that just means it's going to melt to your yeah, ass. It's going to melt to you and really <laughs> hurt you gonna... instead of burn you. Yeah. Well, the other, the other thing is I, I know a lot of people don't work on the carburetors and shit like that, but you know what? Yeah. Well, there ain't too many carburetors left yeah. like we used to work on. But yeah, I've had backfires through the carbs where yeah. I've had to use an extinguisher. Yeah. yeah. And some of this would be would be pretty dang nice. They're pretty cool. They're like 14 bucks for a bottle of it. Uh, you can put it in your bug out bag. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you'd use it for, but you can put it in your bug out bag. I reckon. Well, we, well, we can try. Like, like, like hey, I told you, let's spray last someone night. in the face. Do you, you do go. you want an eighty pound bug out bag? Because that's how you get an eighty pound bug out bag. It is. Yeah, my bug out bag is on my lap, basically. <laughs> yeah. This thing expires in twenty nineteen, so it lasts a pretty good long while. For like a camping bag, it wouldn't be bad to put in there. And no. I'm just saying, yeah. like, well, you oh, know, uh, your your campfire and you're ready to go. You yeah. got a small boat, flat bottom boat. There you go. You know, you got a five force motor on it, a gasoline it, gasoline motor. You're not required to carry an extinguisher. But this thing, this yeah. don't take any space. No, and it's light. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Your car. Yeah. You, yeah. How, many, how many times have we seen thing. burnt out cars oh. down here? Oh yeah. <laughs> it you know, happens. Where, so, where something like that might have stopped. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. It, it's, a, it's a pretty cool thing. I know we ain't paid to show this thing mm -hmm. off. I just seen it up there. I was going. I was going to say something about it a couple weeks back. Yeah. But um, they're pretty dang cool. Uh, obviously, let's see, hold can upright. You don't have to shake the damn thing. No. It's ready to go right off yeah, the bat. Just That's pull cool. that tab at the top and go. Well, you know it's a rule to shake everything before you spray it. <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> Max, That's just where we come from, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Max Pro makes this stuff. Max Professional. Especially your buddy's beer. Or actually, I don't know if they make it or not. I know they bottle it and sell it. Yeah, well, they at least put their yeah. shrink wrap yeah. package on it. Well, they make a bunch of stuff, though. I mean, they make a ton of, ton they, of stuff. They do. They do. We carry a few of their products and, yeah. and use them. That's just it. We use them in the shot. I use one, two, three of their products on my bench. I'm getting ready to order. Uh, actually, I'm gonna call them and see if they'll send me. That the air is made by them too. Yeah, that, yeah. That. Blow off. Um, I, I use the blow off on my bench. Yeah. Um, I use their gun wash, their gun cleaner. I'm gonna see if they'll send me one bottle of the gun oil. I want to try that, and they got a penetrating fluid. I want to try. 
they make a bunch of a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. If you want a one stop shop for all your shit in a bottle, Max Professionals definitely is. Oh yeah, they got rug cleaner, pet smell be gone. They oh they've added stuff too. Yeah, same that for, for pets and stuff. Yeah. yeah, urine stuff and smell stuff. And do they have urine in a bottle? I don't know. We get that from a different supplier. <laughs> <laughs> they may as well go ahead and put deer piss in a bottle. I tell you what, like every day I tell else. you what, some some doe attractant in, in an aerosol bottle. Shh. Yep, Shh. we just we just lost that one. <laughs> yeah, don't tell the world. Yeah, it, it'll, be out, it'll be out tomorrow. One, one of them guys heard it. It was going to his buddy that has a deer yeah. farm. Hey. Uh, <laughs> No, no, I'm gonna shut up now, dude. Do you know what I? You know what I like seriously, man. Hey, you know what they need to come for in a bottle? Cat be gone. You know what that damn cat did last night? It's lucky it's alive. I <laughs> mean, I mean, it, it's lucky it wasn't in the room because I'd have probably shot it. Yeah. That damn cat. Now, because of my disability, me and the wife sleep in twin beds that are pushed together. You know, that way if I get a cramp or something, you know, I can raise my bed up and it doesn't wake her up. That cat took a dump in the middle of my fucking bed. No, it didn't. In the middle of my and then you know what it did? It walked over to the wife's bed and pissed in the middle of hers. You almost come out of the shop. Oh no, it's gonna be a dead cat. I, I gave the daughter is my daughter and wife's cat. I gave the wife the ultimatum last night. Gave the daughter this, this morning. is shop cat. Yeah, daughter. shop cat. No longer in the shop because it pissed on Daryl's gig bag. Yes, it did. Oh. <laughs> it didn't piss on it. It made a little basket on top and filled that bitch up with piss. <laughs> it did. That, that was, was more than one piss. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. Dude. It was. That yeah, was that's like a quart. I cleaned yeah. that yeah. crap off of it. That I don't. Know. I it was down in it. Yeah, I don't pee that much myself. No. <laughs> well, what I cleaned out of the top of it was a quart. Yeah, there was a good quart up there. Yeah. But anyways, so they got the ultimatum. <laughs> One of two things is going to happen. The cat goes outside this tonight when I come home and stays outside forever. <laughs> if it stays in the house after tonight. The next infraction, I don't care how soon, I don't care if that thing gets a hangnail and accidentally gets blood on my chair, my carpet, I'm killing it. <laughs> if you put it outside, it will be here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, maybe, it but, it's not that will. Far. but it's going to be outside. Yeah. <laughs> Shot cat. That damn thing has did everything. You know that? Yeah. I'm dead serious. If, if a cat can do it, and it ain't supposed to. That damn cat has yeah. done it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not it, killed several mice. Yeah, it, it, it did the Tom and Jerry thing. We, we oh, mentioned yeah. we were going to get rid of the cat well, because it wasn't killing it mice. That, well, yeah. well, it did kill that one. Yeah. No, it that didn't. One day. No, it, it didn't. didn't. No, no, they, no they the mouse was playing dead. Really? Yes. Nope. They I were thought playing. it eventually killed the no, no, no. And ate no. it. We, we, we were talking but, about it. Well, it was sitting over there licking his chops like he got done eating it. Nope. We were talking about getting rid of the cat because it ain't killed a mouse. Or even found one. Yeah. What was it? Ten minutes later, there it is, that cat's one. got a mouse in the middle of the floor, batting it around, batting it around. And I, I looked at Daryl. I said, "Yeah, that's Tom and Jerry. They got a deal going. The mouse is going to help the cat keep its job." Absolutely. A week later, what we do? The mouse, cat's playing with the mouse. What the cat do? Heard the mouse into a corner. Well, that sat there would walk. With, that mouse would stay in that corner. Cat would walk away, do bad. Hour later, cat would come back, drag the mouse out, play with it for a little, put it back in the corner, walk around. So, train wreck chat has uh, got a question. All right. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, he was taught that uh, CLP is the the end all be all for gun maintenance by the core, and uh. I believe in CLP myself. I haven't played with it. I gave you a couple bottles, didn't I? But, oh, is that what those? Yeah. Oh, he okay. prefers frog lube. Dear God on his throne. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to Let lube me tell a frog? You, uh, Aren't they slippery enough? Yeah. There, there's a 
there, there's some folks at gun channels that can tell you what happens if you uh, use a little too much frog glue. There, there was uh, one guy, he was shipping, uh, uh, I think it was an upper. It was parts of a gun anyway. I, I believe it was an upper that he shipped to another guy. And he put some frog lube on it. Not a whole lot, mind you. He just put a thin coat of frog lube on it to protect it on its trip. The guy got it, said he has not had that much trouble removing cosmoline yeah. from a firearm. And that's pretty much frog lube's MO right there. Now yeah. that is yeah. that is exactly pretty much my experience with frog lube. Yes, absolutely. It could that, could that be some of those guns we get? If, if, yeah. if, you know what, man? I ain't thought about it, but I bet it is. In, in this humidity, yeah. it gets sticky and mm -hmm. nasty. Yep. It will gum up. I've heard that in really cold climates, Does it, that it gets gummy oh. and yeah, it, it tries to gel up. I don't know I can, because we I, don't I can get see cold that. enough for that. Yeah, but see, but I know that New York. I know that down the road here in the swamp. And I call my house. <laughs> that stuff is it, it's horrible. It's it's, it's nasty. Yeah. Is what it is. You could use used bacon grease. And that was about it's the same better. thing. No shit. It's about the same thing. Yeah, it does see, in New York when it got cold and we were hunting in the real cold. I would strip my gun of all lube. Yeah, to keep it from yeah gelling up. Yeah, that's a uh, man. If you need something to the effect of frog lube, long-term storage, maybe. Yeah. I mean, there are so many yeah. options. Yeah. There are so many damn options. Bear, when it stays on there a apple. long time, yeah. though, it's hard to get off. It's like you might as well put olive oil on your damn gun. Yeah. I mean, I mean, olive you, oil is a decent lube. But if you've seen something that's had olive oil on it for a long period of time, yeah, it, it starts yellowing out. It starts like a shellac. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. well frog lube does about the same thing. And... It's, it, it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. As a matter of fact, uh, comparing it to Cosmoline is real down, yeah. real, real, real similar. Now, see, I like, I got two products I like. And one's, you know, the one, the barricade, yeah. the Birchwood Casey. Don't get it in the aerosol can. Get the get the Zippo lighter. Oh, yeah. Bottle. I'm a fan of that right there, too. Yeah. The, well, not, the aerosol can don't work. So no, well. I'm talking about the Zippo lighter looking yeah. bottle. The, yeah. The barricade or the barricade wipes. Yeah, those are good too. Um, the other one I like is uh, Croil. Yeah. Because they, they both leave a coating even after they evaporate that resists fingerprints and yeah. moisture and stuff. Dude, I'm a fan of you. Go, if I put stuff in the uh, little safe at the house, I just get it. I, I, I go all over it with that EWL. And when I pull yeah. it back out, it is still on it. Now, I don't, the EWL, as long as you use it, you know what I mean? sparingly on an active firearm it's not too bad but you know uh, you've seen what happens with slip 2000 when you put too much on there yeah freaking everywhere yeah it, yeah yeah, yeah but the thing of, is those little those little wipes remember you gave me yeah, a yeah, big yeah, handful of those wipes. Are badass. two guns i still got a bunch yeah. of those wipes because all i really use them for is to wipe everything down once in a while to put it back in the safe and i can wipe like I was telling him, if all I've got to do is wipe them down, if they don't have anything on them to wipe off, I can wipe almost all of my guns off with them. I mean, well, the barricade wipes are they're real damn close to being yeah. just as good. Yeah, depending on how many guns you have, and you can that stuff works real guns. good. It, yeah. it works every Long bit guns. as good. Mm -hmm. It's every bit as good as CLP is. I mean, well, you know, I, speaking of wipes, you know, one thing I'm not a damn fan of is the Winchester gun wipes. I hate those bastards. Which ones do they come in a little packet or you know the yellow about? can? Oh, okay. I've never tried it. Now we got no, some I'm talking about that, that right there. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, this is like this is like those baby wipe containers that you pull out the top. Yeah, yeah. We get those things. Now, this is one of those products that Max Pro they need to reevaluate. Yeah. Um, first of all, as big as it is, you expect it to last if you're gonna buy it. Yeah. I mean, now if you own a gun range. And you're setting it out on the counter for your customers to pull out when they're leaving the, the rain. The liquid evaporates. Yeah, it evaporates. Yeah. It well, evaporates. It even evaporates in the damn can. Yeah, in the can. Yeah. I mean, because we got some that right open the case up. And we had customers bring them back. The foil seal on top was mm -hmm. not broke. Yeah. When it was sold to them. 
literally, literally out of a whole case, we we had four or five customers bring the damn things back, and they had only had them for a day or two, yeah. and they were dry, dry. dude, like paper towels in there. Yeah. It, but now, we haven't ordered any since, and that was when they first came out. Well, that's the reason we haven't ordered any I since. Know. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to get stung, and then yeah, you know. Yeah. But it's we don't we don't mind bashing a product that's just shit. Yeah. But and I I would recommend sticking with what you know. Yeah. You know it's it's going to be a little bit of personal yeah. preference. It is. You don't have problems with it, but if you have a lot of if you have to clean up after your cleanup. Yeah, then that's a problem. Or, yeah. or if you got to clean the gun after you've cleaned it and yeah, exactly. put it away, you take it out, you got to clean it again before you can go shoot. I mean, you yeah. know, if, if you're one of those believers in fire clean and, you know, you want to clean your gun with Crisco, you go right ahead. Hey, now, I shot black powder. Crisco is perfectly <laughs> acceptable. That's all boar butter is. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if uh, I know people who, Use mobile one. Yeah, I know. Not guys. only to lube their gun, yeah. but they to, clean it with yeah. it. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, That's fine. It. But if you use too much, I've cleaned. I've cleaned guys' guns after that. Yeah, I have you want to talk about dirty clean? Oh yeah. yeah. After they're done shooting, burn up all that petrol yeah. chemicals in there. Yeah. That's not to mention, I hate it, but that's not really good for you. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're breathing it if you're shooting. Yeah, and then then it comes but here, and we got to get it all over us because if you we don't yeah. use gloves. Don't, slather it in it i mean if you slather your gun down in any of this stuff then other than fire clean yeah. then it's probably not very good for you there's a there's the, a few products out there no we try to well, most of the most was, of those products yeah, that yeah. are that are like biodegradable and everything yeah. are probably basically the same thing as fire clean because you know fire clean is safe biodegradable non-toxic all this crap it's Freaking vegetable. Yeah. I mean, anybody know? I mean, they, well, they're suing the people that did that test or whatever, but it's freaking vegetable. They, they proved that. No. They fried some fucking eggs up with it and ate them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not doing that with the products I prefer. No, me either. Me <laughs> either. That's why it's so safe and everything. Yeah. Because it's basically just vegetable. And really, vegetable would probably make a decent. Because it's it, it's a lubricant, it's a light lubricant. Yeah, you know, it, I don't know. You if might I would you might have it. raccoons looking. I don't know if I would try to clean like, with it or not. But the the fact is this: there, like you was talking about, go with what you know. There are products all the time that are popping up, and they're not that good. Yeah, yeah, and some of them are just a rehash of something old, yeah. or just yeah. just a slight twist on something that people have been using but now it's new and improved yeah. well the horrible part is these companies will have a product that didn't work in the first place for one reason or another they'll sell that product to another company that other company will rebrand it repackage it and put it right back out there and people will make the same literally the same purchase mistake yep. three and four times in a row because this is the next best thing frog lube was the next best thing. Yeah. And I don't know how it's had the staying power that it's had. I, I do I do not understand that. Never underestimate the power of marketing. Geeks in their basement. Yeah, I know. Because that's who the major uh consumer is of frog lube is the the tactical uh but that's because that's how it's operator. marketed. And really now at this point that it ain't even really marketed because they marketed to the point where they don't have to anymore. Yeah. You know, you got people that are just roll on with it. Um, if I'm going to use a heavy grease, I like that Slip 2000 uh, heavy, heavy, well, the e EWG, the heavy uh, strain yeah. weapons grease, like for the. Oh, yeah. But see me, I'm old school. Well, I just go get, grease. I'll just go get some bearing oil from bearing grease. Yeah, and that Napa. works and it's cheaper. Yeah. I get a whole tub of bearing grease. If I got a pack of gun for a long, use, long storage. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, packing grease. Yeah. I mean, that's all I'm using grease yeah. for. With yeah. the, there, well, there, there, there's a few there's guns a few things that, that, you, that I you would need yeah. some grease with when you're yeah. assembling, yeah, especially uh, in breaking. Yeah, but, but you know, say I'm gonna use white lithium grease. No, you know that. what I like? Just if it's me if it's metal on metal, I like Molly. 
Well, uh, yeah, Molly grease works good too. Yeah. And it, it sticks yeah, like that. The Molly and Bell. Well, mostly yeah. what you're using it for is to keep parts stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is, that's gunsmith glue. That's a totally different it's a totally different product. Gunsmith glue hey, is that's... only available at certain suppliers. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> you know, of pinch, mechanic glue can work, which is the exact same thing. <laughs> Damn seekers, because that's least. where I, that's where I learned that trick from. What's from mechanics? <laughs> it just also applies to gunsmiths and watchmakers, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lord have mercy, yes, sir. It just blow it, just blow it out like one of the top tens right yeah. there. It probably benefited watchmakers more than any of the rest of them because all those tiny little parts. I've I've re I haven't done watches, but I have done a German cuckoo clock. Yeah. You want to talk about parts <laughs> and delicate parts oh my goodness yeah you, you can be godzilla and tear apart a gun and put it back together german cuckoo claw yeah i don't want no part of the clocks well that i told my mom i fixed it once i said if it breaks again you take it to a clock maker <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, not me. That's too much. I, shit. I, 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 once I got I got this antique watch. It was my great aunt's, seventeen year old Swiss Bulova. It don't work. I haven't been able to find a place to repair it. I took it, opened it up once. Now, first of all, the whole watch fit, watch body and all is about one centimeter by one centimeter by a half a centimeter. Uh-huh. I opened up the back. I looked at it. That's, I closed it right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I don't want no part of nothing like that. Yeah, if anybody knows of someone who can repair a watch like that, yeah, give, give us a shout. <laughs> what is chat going on about? Probably. And he said nothing else about it. Yeah. I mean, That's because the Navy has spoken. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't, I, I still that, don't understand. That might get me in trouble if, with more than just chat. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if he was, if, if they, they told him that CLP was good and he saw that CLP was good, why would he think that fraud loop was better? I don't know. I don't understand that. Well, I mean, this they, muscles they, required, brains not I mean, so much. Well, I mean, the whole thing with frog loop is, is if, if if somebody hasn't used it and really hasn't heard a whole lot about it, I and all of a sudden they jump on yeah. forums and stuff and start reading all the good stuff about it, uh, you know what, dude? There's well, there's going to be that. There's a couple of applications that I could see for it. Not me. And there's a we better covered product. that with uh, Molly Grease and. Yeah. Yeah, you know, all Bearing those other, grease. yeah, all those yeah. other Crisco. stuff. Something that you might use a heavy grease for. Yeah, or a heavy oil that's not quite a grease. Yeah. What you mean? You're not supposed to put it but, all over your Glock. You know, you mean you're not supposed yeah. to just dip your Glock in it? Well, you know, I see people. <laughs> I sure thought you're supposed that, to take the dust cover off the AK-47 and just drop I, it down. I in see there. people running around with just frog glue dripping off their AR. <laughs> I mean, and <laughs> now I can see putting a little. Like a couple of dots <laughs> when you put your bolt back together. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, why? I mean, why are you using all this frog lube on your AR? All you're doing is going to end up, you know, where it's going to end up? In your gas system is where it's all going. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the hell's wrong with all those 7400s. It's frog lube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't, yeah. don't, don't get me started on them damn guns. Oh, I've managed to fix quite a few of them. Yeah, they're great guns after they leave here. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were when they left our shop, too. But, <laughs> but a lot of them weren't for long because of the fact they've been neglected so long yeah. before they got Look here. Look here, man. That gun's a pile of shit, neglected <laughs> or not. No. I... Dude, we have had them come in that look spectacular, and they still have the same yeah. M.O. Yeah, well, well so they all have mine the don't same have problem. That problem. How Man, much have you fired yours? Uh, you probably clean yours all the time. Yeah, I too. do. I, I I don't let that thing rust. See that? And, well, see, I don't think it's the cleaning of it. No. I think it's the damn fire. There was. Uh, well, was I, I the, think I think it's the material. What that was the first one of those made out of? Yeah, that's what I mean. And it's yeah. not. So, yeah, 
What was the first one of those guys before the 742? It was uh, it was 7400. No, oh, no, the Model Four. Model yeah. Four. Yeah, I've seen Model Fours that probably had not been cleaned ever. Oh yeah, I, I've got I mean, yeah. But but that darn nipple that the gas comes out of, it's if they made that out of something. It's made out of shit rock. It's made yeah, it's made out of crap metal. Yeah. If they made that out of a hard metal that would take basically all you're doing is is a blowtorch. Yeah. You know, if they'd make that out of a a decent chrome yeah. or something that could take the high pressure gases. So and with the well, dust, I always thought that it was supposed through. to be designed to be the failure. Hold on, ju- hold on, just a second, guys. So you mean to tell me that fire that firearms manufacturers are supposed to build stuff out of quality products, or materials? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because we're I don't talking. Think they know we're it. talking quality products uh, or materials. Yeah. You know, um, th- th- there's a quality product laying right over. It. It's now a quality product. <laughs> It now works every time. Yeah. Um, well, no, I, I, I'm right there with you. I think that, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it is not a su- supposed failure. You know what I mean? Well, that, well, I you, always thought that that was supposed to be the weak point that would fail. If, if something failed, that would fail instead of ca- catastrophic failure. Yeah, but the gun shit when that goes. <laughs> well, I mean, that's she's the, done The problem so. is it well, wears yeah. out too quick. Yeah, because uh, really quick. Because nine times out of ten, the fix is to dampen it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, you, and, and it closed yeah, or, squeeze it down. Yeah. And quite honestly, you can only do that a couple yeah. times, and then the damn thing cracks, and then you only got a couple more times. And yeah, if they would just bad. make it out of a good hardened yeah. something that was meant to take that. What you mean, hot high, gases? Hot, yeah, blowtorch. <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about it. that. That that's all. Uh, that's all that's going down a barrel or through a gas system of a firearm. Yeah. Is, is a blowtorch. And the worst part, if there's dust in the barrel, grit in the barrel, not only you got a blowtorch, but now you got an abrasive blowtorch. Now you yeah. got meteorites. Yeah, you know. And well, that's it, why that hole ends up getting this yeah. big because all that. And then it's you know, getting blown down that barrel. You just sandblast. Hell, yeah. you know what, dude? Yeah. If we just poured frog lube all over that bastard and run it, it may actually fix the problem. <laughs> burn it, burn, burn. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Well, well, you know, when I was a chef, one of the things I hated when I went to a new restaurant or something was wasn't a clean fanatic. You know how you get cookie sheets and you get that black layer? Mm-hmm. Where you get some clean metal here, but then you get a quarter inch of black shit mm-hmm. and some more clean metal. That's that baked on frog lube, yeah. right? Yeah. We, we put enough frog lube in there, shoot enough, it'll bake on and close the, well, the port back up. The thing is that that it's not far from uh, from what people do when it starts is they start oiling the crap out of their gun. Oh yeah, yeah. To make it run, because what happens is you you start getting they start oh you. Casing Cases starts sticking duck. Yeah. yeah. And, and the big thing is if you oil the shit out of the chamber, you'll get two or three yeah. shots off before it gets, and then before you, you bake then the you, grease then off. You, then you, <laughs> yeah. you carry a bottle of oil and you, yeah. yeah. And then you, I know people who did that. Yeah. Well, they said almost, that they well, told us that's what they had to do. Dude, this is almost carry a bottle of oil. And, and you want to know why that works? Oil it. You want to know why that works? Hydraulic pressure. Yeah. You fill all, you fill you, you, you got a layer of oil between the case and the uh, chamber wall, and the case can't expand fully to the chamber wall so it don't stick. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason, and that's why it only works for two or three shots. Yeah, and then when the pressure's off, the liquid actually well, helps no, you it burn. You, yeah, yeah. Well, once you burn the oil off, oh, yeah, then you're, then you're back done. to the same problem. <laughs> and, and actually, even worse sometimes, because now you're ripping head oh, heads yeah. off, yeah. and now you got the case stuck and ripped the head off, and you bring it to me yeah or even better like the last one we just not it wasn't one of the 7400s this was another rifle but yeah dude got a cartridge case stuck in it put figured oh i'll just knock it out with my cleaning rod oh yeah broke he had a three-piece aluminum cleaning rod broke the cleaning rod off in the barrel so now i'm removing a stuck cartridge and a stuck clean broken cleaning rod yeah And, and the worst part when I took the gun apart, when I took the gun out the stocks, I put it in the vise. A part fell out the bottom of the gun. <laughs> and it's an important part. 
and it just don't go back in easy. <laughs> it's it's a part that as a gunsmith, unless we absolutely have to take that part of the gun apart. I remember what you're talking about. Oh yeah. We don't take that part of the gun apart. Yeah. Well, they had already uh, fixed their gun. Well, yeah, he said he was cleaning it. Yeah. It's amazing. Threads are all messed up. The, the fact is, if you got something like that going on, don't just start sticking stuff down your barrel. Bring it to a gunsmith. Man, don't go on doing screws. You don't know what they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of these guns are fun screws. You undo that screw and 75 little old bitty springs smaller than ants come flying that, out. That or it comes out and it won't never go back in because of how it's designed. Yeah. Not go back in without a total tear down and rebuild. Yeah. Yeah, because there's some stuff you have to hold all that in mm -hmm. when you put it in there. Yeah. You can't just put it back in. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and if you try to just shove that screw back Almost in. Almost any mm. Remington trigger group. If, if, yeah, if you, if you try to shove that screw back in, nine times out of ten, if you're successful in getting it to stay, you have just cross-threaded it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there ain't but two threads that hold that screw in anyways. I don't know how I'm fixing this one yet. <laughs> well, <sighs> yeah, we got some favorite guns, and that's yeah. one of them. That's one, especially if someone decides, oh, I'm going to take my gun apart myself. That That's the one if we get in the bag. You can ask Daryl. When he first started with me, the first one of those that came in a bag, he said, Daryl, here, you get to play with this one. Yeah. <laughs> it was a damn Marlin Model 60, and that trigger pack was slammed. Oh, apart. really? Every yeah. damn piece of it was apart. Yeah, yeah, that's one, too, yeah. yeah the first bag I got was a um, 870 uh, trigger group. <laughs> oh, good God. You're mercy. supposed to take those parts. Yeah, I know that. They, yeah. there's, there's riveted parts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got it back together. <laughs> the easy way or the hard way? Um, the only way that you bought a new one. <laughs> you bought a new oh, no, one. Oh no, I actually got it put oh, back okay. together. But uh, Dave told me that uh, that he had already put a new one in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said the easy way or the hard way. He the easy just way. gave it to me to screw with me. Yeah, that's kind of what I did to Daryl. I did it to Doc too. Hey, I got that bastard back together. Yeah, I put the fuckers together like that yeah. now. Yeah, now yeah, and that's that. Well, that was the whole idea. You yeah. know, give give them the one that's a pain in the butt. That if you didn't see it when it was together, it's going to take you a while. Hey, you can look at that thing for three days, tear it apart, and you still can't put that fucker back together. I don't care how much you look at it, dude. It does not – there's not that many pieces. When you're looking at it, It act, when you take it apart, it actually duplicates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, that's like the 550. I gave Doc the 550 to do. No, you gave me one of those too. Oh, yeah, I know. I did it to you too. But that I thing come back to your desk pretty quick too. <laughs> Doc, and, when uh, Doc had it, he, no, I don't think JB Well will fix the uh, the, the screw that we're no, talking no, about. No. <laughs> that that one that one that you're talking about no, with the no, screw. No, you yeah. can't get the screw in there for it to fix it. Yeah. But oh damn! But the 550 with Doc, Doc played with that gun for three days trying to fit all those parts of it, and he finally come up. Tracy, come here and look. There is no way in hell you can fit all those parts up that little slot. And get them to pin together. <laughs> it's possible. It's and, a, and he, oh boy, it was funny as hell. I said, Doc, watch. I sat down, I think, three minutes, man. I stuffed it all in there. And put it all, he's like, how the hell did you do that? I said, you get the next one, too, to practice. I, mean, of, I hate those. Some of those. Yeah, I don't like I'd rather either. do the Marlin 60 than the 5. Me, too, all day long. And I'm talking about with every little old bitty piece of that thing to yeah. slam down. Exactly, apart. yeah. Because if you tear that 550 completely apart, yeah, yeah that's it's that's like, issues. Yeah, that's mm. JB Weld. Yeah, <laughs> it was a joke. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who said that? Nice try. Right. Oh, okay, but uh, I figured you just go. No, no, me. I have I have been guilty of repairing a part with quick steel. Yeah, and to to the best of my knowledge, it is still <laughs> going today. Yeah. Well, I told y'all about the little Ruger target pistol that uh, had the scope mount on it that the guy brought in and said that the uh, that the uh, the mount was uh, loose. Yeah. And when I took it off, it whoever had put it on 
had bored the holes out too big. And JV welded. Or they had when they they had either bored it out a little too big or had stripped out the stripped out the screws because the, it had hardly any threads in it and the threads didn't quite reach it once the jb weld was cleaned out of, out of the holes <laughs> so i ended up having to get some oversized screws and yeah. rethread it and put it back in there but yeah they had tried to fix their screw up when they mounted the scope mount on there yeah and well hell why wouldn't you just fill a slam full of jb weld <laughs> i mean why not well because when i took it all apart and put it in the uh the parts washer it knocked the JB Weld loose out of the oh, so they, so they didn't even clean the thing properly before they put it in. No, I guess not because the JB Weld came out of the holes when I put what, it in the parts what, washer. What gun was that? A Ruger 1022 that the back of the damn receiver was knocked slam off from it, and they had JB Weld back there. You remember that gun? Yeah, it was a big chunk out of it. I the it they had took JB Weld and just I'm talking about about this much of the rear of that bastard was gone. And yeah. they had just JB welded that bastard back up. Dude. Really? Yeah, I think they had some clear epoxy or something holding the stock <laughs> on or some shit, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, would, I, it's, I can't it's remember. It's hard to keep track of some of the things we've seen. I can't remember, but I do remember. It may not have been 1022. It was something like that, you know, just small 22. But I remember we had to unscrew it, and I had to grab the bottom of the stock and grab the barrel and Pry it manhandle out. that thing out of yeah. there. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was horrible. It was damn horrible. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think it was Marlin Model 60, and that's some of them parts that we got back there. Was that the one that came in electrical tape, wood screw? That's exactly and, the one I'm talking and about. And the metal plate that were connected. That's exactly the one I'm talking yeah, about. I've seen a, a lot of that with the little piece of metal plate attached to the where the stock was split. Oh, these were drywall plates. screws, too. Yeah, yeah, they always use drywall yeah. screws. <laughs> Going you, every, there had to be 10 drywall screws oh, in the yeah. rest of that rifle. Actually, there was nails in there and everything else. There it is sitting right there, the repaired stock. No, that's not the it. The camo one, yeah. Are you sure? Yep. That's why we camoed it. It was okay. so messed up. You could. There was so much we had to do to it that we couldn't make it look pretty. That gun was a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> but now I guarantee you that you ain't going to break that stock there again. Wouldn't the front side put on with electrical type? I think it no, there was something. For, the magazine tube was held onto the yeah. Oh the no, 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 hose was, clamp. Was it a hose clamp? Yeah, it was a hose clamp. Dude, yeah. this gun was. I've seen that. Before. Yeah, well, yeah. No, this had all of these options. <laughs> yeah, this was this was the. No, what the I've loaded, seen is uh, <laughs> fully loaded is from the factory. The uh, guns that have the, the barrel the, band. The barrel band. Yeah. They have a hose clamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this was the, the little piece that held <laughs> hold the mag tube up the front was gone. Yeah. Yeah. They took a little hose clamp. The damn front sight was electrical tight now. It might have been. It absolutely was. It was electrical tight holding the damn front one down. And the rear one was broke. They wouldn't but like, uh, where it's got them two legs that come up, they wouldn't but one of them because it was broke, slam, almost always slam off. Yeah. yeah. And they just had the damn ramp, uh, the ramp just crammed up under the front of it. Yeah. Dude, that was a god awful this, rifle. They wanted that damn thing repaired. What's yeah. that? Oh, until they saw the bill. Yeah. Or the wait, it wasn't even a bill. It was just an estimate. Yeah. What's that little pump? It's a Remington pump. Oh, uh, twenty-two. It's like a uh, like a carnival rifle. I know. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I can't different. remember that. It's got the little uh, flaps. Uh, front sight that's flat. It's like a square flat. Oh. Uh, Blade oh, side. Okay, yeah. But it's got the big flat thing yeah. you know, that goes in it. I saw one of those that had been welded on. Welded. Well, yeah, <laughs> not I've, not soldered, not sweated, welded. I've seen brazed. <laughs> I haven't seen welded yet. I've seen brazed. I've seen welded on other spots of guns. We've seen uh, Rem, uh, Remington 870 with JB Weld action bars. <laughs> yeah. Didn't that, work out so well. That, no. How many pumps did he get out of that? No, it come in because one of them was broke. We had that 500 that had the damn, uh, they had braised that bastard up. I'm still working on that, by the way. I'm I've seen those welded back. back. No, no, but they, they welded braised it. it. Yeah, well, they braised it. And they, they, they did too it too long. They, they did it too long. Oh, really? They did it crooked this way yeah. and this way. 
Oh no, these were still working. It was just on. It just happened to be this a feature. one worked at some point. Yeah, it, it just had happened to be a feature of that shotgun. They had actually done a pretty good job of smoothing the. Oh no, this down. wasn't even smoothed down. It double was, I mean, double the thickness right yeah. there. Yeah. Golly, <laughs> I'm still working on it. I cut it off, got it measured out right, welded, tigged a new piece on. Yeah. Heat treated it. I, I still got to cut it to length and cut my notches. It, it's it's one of the shop guns. You know, we we're like, yeah, it's gonna cost this much to repair it. Uh, they decided, no, I don't want to repair it. And it's like, okay, we'll give you this much for it. Mm -hmm. Parts. Yeah, yeah. And most of that stuff does turn into parts too. We yeah. don't bullshit yeah. people. Yeah. You this know? this one hasn't quite. I think we did use a few parts, but we, we got another one in, and yeah. Yeah. so we. Well, I know we've used several things off that gun yeah. trigger we used a trigger guard at one point and i think we got another one in off another gun that was yeah even worse yeah but yeah but i got about three or four of the same parts guns and when we mm -hmm. get around to fixing the part that was initially broke like that action arm because because it was one that we can't we couldn't wear it was no, an it, was older a, it was one. a single arm yeah uh mossberg 500 no it wasn't it was a revelation the You're revelations right. only had yeah. one on. Yeah. yeah. And we couldn't find one at the time. And, yeah. And you know, I don't think yeah, they don't exist because everybody breaks them. Yeah. It's well, the thing one. is, you can put the uh, one off 500 on there. I haven't well, tried. Well, yeah, but that ain't. Because it'll, 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 it's yeah. got the But that's too both. easy for this thing. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they only put one arm on it. And Standard you buy something for a parts gun, you start taking parts off oh, from it, then you get bored, and then you're like, okay, well, won't we just order all new parts for this thing and put it together? Yeah. No, I'm or not. Or start I, fixing them. No, I have done that, though. Oh, I know we have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's the worst part. Order all new parts to put it together. Gun comes in. What do we do? We take the new parts that we go put together and make a profit on the gun. And next thing we know, damn it, we need more parts. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sold all your parts. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's like that, like that JA. Oh yeah, the JA nine. I got on my bench. It come in. It would blow up. Yeah, so we're. Uh, I fixed it, but and you know what? The rear sight assembly is available now. I ordered it today. Oh, did you? Yeah, because remember we had the other one. J yeah. Someone else yeah, coming yeah. with the JA nine. Same thing. Needed the rear sight, and I thought it was blowed up when I saw it. Oh yeah. In. yeah. <laughs> So we're at 730. Are we? Yeah. Damn. Goodness gracious. Well, uh, y'all, if you was listening on YouTube, go ahead and go over to gunchannels.com. Well, real and quick, sign while up. I'm thinking about it, let's do DPG. Oh, yeah. Uh, we forgot last week. So we'll make sure we do it this week. It can't be uh, Chet. Because mm -mm. no. we got a present well, we, for him. We him anyway, so. And we got a present waiting for him here. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to do the game? Fourth one down? That work. Moon. Moon food, 78. That's either a 60s flower child or or, or, or child of a 60s flower yeah. child. I'm Moon getting food. in all kinds Moon of trouble. Food. I'm getting in all kinds of trouble. He, he's right a gun now. channel regular. He <laughs> might just like the damn uh, the ice cream. <laughs> Moon pies? No, that damn. I don't, know, like the, the, I don't know what the story cream. behind his oh, name. Is. I like that shit, dude. Oh yeah, the he's freeze dried a, ice cream is good. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Yeah, he's a he's a gun channel regular. Dude. Well, then he just want a patch. Yep. Then he knows so, how to uh, get it. Yeah, and in case he doesn't, for some reason, <laughs> 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 go to gunchannels.com slash dpg for daily patch giveaway. Fill out the form and. Uh, Got yourself a patch, Moon. Oh, hell. You know what, Sean? Have him send you his address. We'll send him one, too. Yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and give you the patch, and you yeah. can just throw it in the envelope and send it to him. All right. So he doubled up today. Yeah. There you go. How you like that? Get an extra one on top of it. Extra. Yeah, extra. <laughs> Tonight's been fun. It was not bad. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, Y'all check us out on Facebook. If you're listening on gun channels, please go to our YouTube page and uh, subscribe <laughs> and like. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please go to our gun channels page. Uh, sign up. And I think they can like us or comment and stuff on gun channels. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, they can hit us on our Facebook page too. Yeah. Uh, y'all can call us at 334-222-4867. Uh, even if you don't live near us and you need some work done that you can't find anybody around to do, uh, you can mail it, ship it to us, and we can ship it right back to you. Yep. Now, of course, we got to abide by your local state laws. Yeah. But aside from that, all good. Yep. So uh, I'm Daryl. You Grace. mean you won. And I'm Sean. And this <laughs> is Shop Talk. <laughs> I know he was a little late to respond. Sorry, keep the powder dry, boys. <laughs> <laughs>